everyone, I'm on location for this episode of My One Two Three Cents, looking back at Monday Night Raw 20 years ago when I was here on the campus of Southeast Missouri State University where I am today. Now, things have changed in the last 20 years, but I used to watch Raw every Monday night in this building right behind me. It was a restaurant, a pizza place called Geronimo's. It's now called Rowdy's Place, so uh, things have changed quite a bit. The wrestling has changed a lot. I remember watching, uh, you know, because back then we didn't have cable in the dorm room so we would come and, and gather down here and and watch uh, week after week and uh, you know wrestling has evolved so much in that amount of time Monday Night Raw has obviously changed from a one-hour show uh, that was taped to a two-hour live show to now a three-hour show um, the superstars have gotten better uh, the gimmicks have changed everything has changed so much over the last 20 years um, I recently, back when Raw 1000 was coming out, uh, shared my favorite Raw moments, so check that out at my123cents.blogspot.com. Um, but I just kind of wanted to go back to where it all started for me as a fan. Um, obviously, I was watching wrestling long before Raw. Uh, I remember the old primetime wrestling, the roundtable discussions that they would have, and even before that when it was Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan hosting. Um, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to come back and, and share some memories um, that first night when Undertaker took on Damian Demento and, of course, uh, Shawn Michaels against Max Moon. So many great memories. Uh, some of those superstars, of course, in the Hall of Fame now. They are legends. Others kind of fell by the wayside. But um, just wanted to, to have a little nostalgic moment and uh, share it with you, the watchers and the readers at My123Cents. Thanks so much, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>